everybody, how are you all doing? I'm doing a nice topic today which is smoking. I say nice, obviously not a nice topic, but I really enjoy talking about it because it just comes really naturally and I could talk about it for ages. Um, I'm going to start by running through the structure of the lungs so you first will get an idea of which parts of the body the smoking affects and then we'll go into quite a lot of detail to talk about the diseases such as emphysema, bronchitis, lung cancer, etc. So first of all, let's just think about our respiratory system. Um, obviously we breathe in through our nose, hopefully, sometimes some people breathe in through their mouth. Then the air travels down the trachea, the windpipe, into the two first big branches, which are the bronchies, into the smaller branches, the bronchioles, and then they finally end in the alveoli, which are the air sacs. And remember they have capillaries which run very close to them, so that the oxygen that you've breathed in can diffuse into the capillaries, and the CO2, the carbon dioxide produced by respiration, can pass out of the capillaries, out of the blood, into the alveolus and then we breathe out again. Right, so when you're smoking, there are so many chemicals inside cigarette smoke, thousands and thousands, I don't know the exact number, but unfortunately lots of these are pretty dangerous and they're chemicals which we call carcinogens. Carcinogen is simply a cancer causing agent and there are lots of substances that you will have heard of inside cigarette smoke such as tar, which is a black sticky substance which clogs up in your lungs, nicotine, this is the addictive drug, which is why smokers find it so hard to give up this habit. And carbon monoxide. Um, I think I'll talk about carbon monoxide first of all. Remember when you breathe in, your oxygen is transported in your red blood cells and carried around your body, in your blood. And the red blood cells are full of a pigment called hemoglobin, which is where the oxygen binds to. However, what happens when you smoke is carbon monoxide has a higher affinity, so it binds better to hemoglobin than oxygen does. So what happens instead is the red blood cells start carrying carbon monoxide around the body rather than oxygen, so you have less oxygen in your body, which is obviously a bad thing. What a knock-on effect this has is that it means that you have high blood pressure and your heart has to pump harder, and the reason why is because it needs to pump harder in order to deliver more oxygen around the body than it would normally, and that's because some of those red blood cells are transporting carbon monoxide. When carbon monoxide binds with haemoglobin, you form something called carboxyhemoglobin, and that's a specialist word, especially for people doing IGCSE. Nicotine makes your blood more sticky, so it's more viscous, and again, your heart needs to pump harder, and that increases your blood pressure just to get your blood circulating around your body properly. Let's talk about the cilia now. Now, the cilia are specialised cells which line your airways, and, they have, and they're called ciliated cells, but they have special hairs called cilia, and what they do is they waft, and they waft anything that you accidentally swallow, down into your trachea, they waft that out and they waft it into your mouth and then you swallow it so that it can be destroyed by hydrochloric acid in your stomach. So they're obviously super important because they're moving all this nastiness that you breathe in out of your body so that it doesn't coat your lovely pink lungs. The problem is with smoking is you paralyse your cilia so they no longer work. So what happens is any bacteria that has reached your airways gets trapped rather than removed and that leads to infection. When there's an infection, what happens is white blood cells invade to try and destroy it. Your cells are destroyed generally and the problem is they don't get replaced with the original cell. They get replaced with scar tissue. So your whole area is a bit screwed up really. And you end up with a smoker's cough as well because all that mucus and things, they're all staying there in your airways and you can feel it in your, in your lungs. So what you want to do is you want to cough super hard to remove it all from your body. And that's what a smoker's cough is, which is why it sounds pretty horrible when you hear people doing it. It's like... I'm not going to do the noise, it's going to sound really bad on this, so just take my word for it, smokers cough are due to the buildup of mucus in the airways. Now we're going to talk about lung cancer. Now that's all those carcinogens I was talking about, those chemicals inside cigarette smokes. They end up in the cells of your lungs. Um, they cause them, some of them will cause them to rapidly reproduce, which is what cancer is, and you'll end up with a tumour growth that will cause massive obstructions, and if it spreads, that's what can actually lead to death. So that's lung cancer sorted, very, very horrible disease. Another nasty disease we need to talk about is emphysema. Now remember the alveoli are little air sacs in the base of your lungs and that's where gas exchange takes place. Now they have a super large surface area in order to make sure as much gas exchange takes place per second as possible. However, when you smoke, what you do is you break down the walls between one alveolus to the next and what that does is it increases the size of each sac and that has the knock-on effect of decreasing the surface area available for gas exchange. I might draw you a diagram and try and show you this. But the point is, if you have a large 
compartment, you're going to be having far less gas exchange than if you had small compartments. And therefore, emphysema leads to massive shortness of breath and you see people attached to oxygen tanks because they can't breathe enough oxygen. Apparently, it's super unpleasant and it's unpleasant. And I've heard that it's akin to like if you were inhaling non-stop for 10 seconds and you didn't exhale once. And you very soon, if you try and do that, feel real tightness in your chest. So it's obviously an incredibly unpleasant disease. So that's all I really wanted to talk about with the topic of smoking. It's a nice short topic, it's interesting. There are some key words, carboxyhemoglobin for example, carcinogen, but it's an interesting topic so it shouldn't be too hard to learn. I hope you found my video helpful. Um, big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye!